So just get out there and try it. Freaking tractor run start. No! Were those insulated chain locks or what? <laughs> <They're hard. laughs> camera was rolling for that uh this is my father-in-law's tractor that we inherited and it, this is a ford uh 640 uh, i didn't know that much about it the hydraulics didn't work when i got the tractor and uh, we watched a couple of videos and we'll link them below that are excellent videos as far as repairing both the top lid and the pump uh, and then there's another one that shows the adjusting of uh, the controls and stuff and, and I'll show it here in a little bit of what that some of it details but his videos are very good and so are I think her name's Rachel uh, there's one thing that is not covered in that video and I'm, we're going to kind of show you that part it's a, an unloading valve I had no idea about it uh, but we took the top lid off and if you follow her video it's it's very detailed and it shows how, how to take it off uh, by disconnecting uh, the back uh, lines, uh, pulling it off. I use a winch uh, to lift it up out of there. Things pretty heavy, um, and then it's easy to tear apart. I also pulled my pump off. Uh, there's three bolts here, two here, and it's a, she has a very detailed uh, list of our video of how to do that. And there's some special tools. I bought the tools because I, I completely redid the seats and stuff in this one here. Uh, you don't have to do that. They're just balls and, and seats. Uh, more than likely, they're not going to go bad. But I did buy those, and they're available through her deal when you see the video. Uh, but let's talk about the unloading valve. That's the big big issue. All right, this is, a, this is my top lid. And... I pulled this assembly completely off and there's a piston and stuff in there that has o-ring in it and a leather uh, and then there's some o-rings on the base here uh, but the unloading valve and she covers this uh, and this uh, control uh, valve and she covers all of that and how to take that out and stuff but what she doesn't cover is behind this plate and we want to show you I've already put it together took it apart and put it together once but we want to show a video because I spent a, a week trying to figure out what was wrong with this thing and just happened to read a forum that talked about an unloader valve well that unloader valve is what the problem was uh, I didn't know it uh, and I'm hoping anybody with a Ford 600 and I think it's 800 and 400 and there's a bunch of different models that this covers uh, and I also bought a Ford book. Yeah, just as, real quick, we bought the manual, um, and these are all the models. And I'll put these, I'll put these in the um, in the in the search. So that way, if you guys have one of these models, this manual will cover the hydraulic system um, for that. And I think what I might do as well um, is take pictures of the. Um, the chapter regarding the um, the hydraulics because all of this stuff is covered in this section and that will uh, in that way if you have one of these tractors and you're looking for hydraulics and we don't ha you know we don't cover that specific thing you're looking for but you found this video then you can like pause on a on a screen and see the the text about what to what to do so we're going to talk really quickly about you know what the issue was with our tractor link it to the other videos that helped us get to the point where we were this close and we figured it out well i didn't figure it out my dad did um but so here's that all right so the unloader valve is this little part that sits behind that cap there's a cap here that that covers that and when you take it off this is that little control valve that sits in here uh, that has a spring and stuff but the other video explains all of this stuff uh, this thing you have to pull that is a half by 20 thread uh, bolt a fine thread half inch that will th thread into there and this is how I pulled it is I threaded that in there and I've just found uh, some nuts that fit 
back here uh, you don't have to just use anything you want to just this is what i had and this is um yeah if you have like a slide pole you know that that's the recommended method so to speak yeah that's what they showed on their little deal but i'm i'm actually gonna pull it um and all i did is i i snug that up and then now if you look down in there uh let me get some light here okay so once you get your puller and stuff set up kind of like i do make sure that the little flange there's you'll see where that actual uh bushing comes out or uh, i think they called it a bushing i'm not real sure the term of it we'll, we'll link link it in the video uh, but i'm past that so my nuts are sitting away from that so when i crank on it i can pull that out so here let me go ahead and yank it out right quick Hold that light. you can see that bushing is getting pulled out of that slot right now Just about right. There All right, so that is my, that is the bushing that is, is in there, and you can only go one way because this side's threaded, so where we have to go in there, and I marked mine thinking there was directional. You don't need to. Um, it just it'll pull out and go back in either way. All right, up inside there, there is a little valve. Mine was stuck to where uh, it was just, let me get over and push it back back where it was. That mine was stuck about right there. And I mean stuck hard to where I rebuilt both the top end and the pump and installed it back in the tractor and I couldn't get it to work. It would just blow uh, on the relief valve in the bottom of the uh, sump. Uh, and I will show you that here in a second. Uh, but that thing evidently when it starts to pump it starts building up pressure with that valve not being able to unload a valve not being able to move back and forth it just was short cycling and it wasn't sending any any fluid to the ram that's inside here that is the relief valve right there that i'm pointing at uh and the fluid was just coming up into the pump through this line and then back out uh and never coming back in here it was just blowing blowing out or it might have been even going down this tube and just returning back into the deal but uh it, that ended up not being the problem so i took everything apart again and uh started not everything as far as the uh pump and stuff because i know the pump is working i i put a hose on it and i have full flow through it i took this apart and uh was trying to find something else and I thought it might have been this little unloader valve. I mean, I don't remember what this one's called. It's in the book, and we're going to uh, copy some real good pages out of that on the video to where you can truly read through there and give you the the item number and what it's called. And Because I couldn't find anything like that online either other than having to buy the book. And if you can use that, it, it sure help. Um, but I pulled this out, and there's also... A little valve in here there's a, a ball in here but there's one that you can pull out in there she tried it on her video Rachel did on uh, her little tractor form thing and uh, she just pushed it back in but it that ended up not being my problem I, I, st and I still couldn't figure it out and I messed with it for a couple of days and so now uh, they said to take a wire and you can push that that little valve out of there well i tried pushing that little valve out with a wire and i couldn't push it out i took i had to take an eighth inch welding rod and what i did is um if on the back side here there's a hole inside inside there and if you i put it in there and i had to tap it out and when i tapped it out it popped it popped out so this is what that unloader valve looks like. And the rest of those are bushing. One's a front bushing and one's a rear bushing. Uh, I am not gonna remove my bushings. Um, I looked at this thing real good. It's not scarred. 
the O-ring was exact, it was flat on top, it didn't have any resistance. Uh, so I put a new O-ring on it. And uh, without the O-ring, it should sit in the bore and it should be free moving. And mine wasn't. Uh, mine was actually, it went in about a quarter ways and it stopped. So I ended up having to push it with my finger as hard as I could and all of a sudden I felt it go poosh and it just kind of went in. And then I took my welding rod and pushed it out and I worked it back and forth about five or six times and then I blew it out and cleaned it out real good. Put my new O-ring on there, put it in. It's just a little bit of drag, that's what the book says. And I oiled it up and, and it slides in and it's very easy now to to work. Uh, you can just slide it right right in with just a, a minimal amount of resistance. And what I did is I just, you can see it just goes in and out very easy. So now my unloader valve is working. And that was totally seized before even seized. Even all the videos that Rachel and everything else that you did what she recommended, it was still not working. Still not working. So and unfortunately her video didn't cover this bit. Correct. And that's why we want to make a video for this to where people know that there's a, just a little bit hers is a great video and, and very descriptive and and very informative and she tells you parts and stuff that you can get in the, their website sells part tractor parts uh but it does not cover the unloader valve uh and i looked online and could not find anything that covered a ford 600 unloader valve or, or and covers all those models and even you can find the part you can but in the book, it tells you that the unloader valve comes in different sizes and stuff, so I did, that's why I didn't want to pull my bushings out, uh, just for the fact that I didn't want to have to try to find the right one to go back in it. I'm just going to, I cleaned everything up, got everything working, uh, and I'm going to stick it back in the tractor and let it go to work. Yeah, this, this long one in here is called a control valve, I'm pretty sure, and then this is actually the one inside here that we're covering is actually the unloading valve. Yeah, uh, and then this here, uh, you just, it just presses right back in. You know, make sure that your valve is in there before you beat it in there. But uh, that just sits in there, uh, and then you just tap it right back in. There. And that's it. And then, and then this here bolts all right back together. Uh, that's your spring for your control valve. Uh, and this here just goes directly, uh, directly on there like that. It's not too difficult to do. None of none of it is on on uh, even Rachel's uh, videos. Uh, I hope I'm, I've got that her name right, uh, but. It's, if you have any mechanical skills at all, you can do hydraulic on it um, and, and all your own work. It, it does help in that uh, each part is truly uh, named and stuff in, in the book. And it just makes it a little easier to, to know what, you're, uh, what, you, what you actually have and what you're putting back together. Yeah, and and like like I kind of said earlier, you know, the internet is a miracle. It, you know, it used to be that you you had to have somebody that just knew this stuff, or you know, it's really intimidating, and you don't want to get in there and just check it out. And now you can just find a YouTube video, which is what helped us. You know, we got you know ninety eight percent of the way there, um, and we just needed that little extra. So if this video is that little extra for you, then make sure you go ahead and leave a like and. Um, at the end of the video, I'll, I'll attach stills of the pages so you guys can pause and read through that because it covers the whole hydraulic system, how to service it and whatever. But we just wanted to contribute to the community knowledge here and we'll leave all the links and everything else that we used and all the resources. So if this is the video you find, hopefully you can get where you need to go to fix your tractor. Anything to add, Dad? No. Uh, just don't be afraid to tackle it. I mean, you can you can definitely do do it. It just takes a little bit of work, and and I know there for a while I was I was about to give up myself and and try to talk to a professional, but uh, thank God I just happened to to read one little clip of a forum, 
and they talked about an unloader valve and we got to looking and I realized oh shoot I never took that part apart uh, so just get out there and try it